Hey, this is Brian of Triphonic, and today I'm going to talk to you about um, making telephone style uh, dual tone multi frequency style sounds. So, like um, when you have your telephone and you push the buttons or you hear uh, the dial tone, those are all sounds that you can recreate um, using uh, a synthesizer like FM8, um, or you could use, I'm sure, a number of others that do similar things. Um, because basically all of those telephone sounds are created out of sine waves and just playing at different frequencies. Um, what's nice about something like a telephone sound is that it's an abstract sound, it's just sine waves, but they carry a lot of uh, meaning. It sort of is a good device in terms of, you know, telling a story, like the, the, the disconnected sound or dial tone sound. Um, you know, it implies a lot of things and, and, and it creates a certain feeling based on that of you know, at least for me, I, f I think of, you know, it's an emptiness and loneliness of like whoever you're trying to call isn't there. So I, I think that it's, I, I like sounds like that, that are abstract, that are, aren't of any, you know, um, it's not an actual sound of, a mechanical sound of something. It's just, uh, you know, but it, it has, it carries a lot of emotional weight to it. Anyway, um, so the way that you can go about creating the, uh, a few different telephone sounds is if you have uh, Native Instruments FM8 and you go to the expert page and you go to the ops portion of that where it shows you all your different operators, um, then uh, you can enter in the different frequencies. So typically um, what you do in FM8 is you have to enable the different operators. So an operator is more or less it's an oscillator combined with an envelope and um, it can either act as a carrier or a modulator so a carrier means that it's just playing directly it's going it's um, routed directly to the output um, or you can have it modulate another operator um, but for today we're not going to worry about that um, we're just going to take a look at um, uh, enabling a few different operators and having them directly output so they're both they're all going to be carriers I control click to enable an operator, so I can control click on E here. Um, and so what I did was, so I have operator F, and I set its ratio to zero, um, and I set its offset to 440 hertz, because that's the one of the tones that I want to ring out. And then on operator E here, um, I've set its ratio to zero and its offset to 350 hertz. Um, and so if I bring up the volume on that here, so that these are balanced, then you might recognize this sound. <clears throat> so creates dial tone sound. Um, and the reason why uh, I have these set this ratio set to zero is so that anywhere I play on my keyboard, it's just going to play back this offset amount, uh, so it's not going to track the pitch otherwise. Um, when you're dealing with ratios, if it's a, a ratio of one, it means that it's going to play back um, whatever the note on my the note number is that I'm playing on my keyboard. It's going to play back uh, that frequency, and then it's going to add this offset to it. Um, so if I just wanted to play back these two frequencies anywhere um, or all across the keyboard, then I want to set my ratio to zero. Um, however, what I can do is, um, so this dial tone is great, but I, I might want a sound that's maybe more musical that is similar, that sort of reminds me of a dial tone, or reminds me of these phone style sounds. So what I can do is set my ratio, well I could set it to 0.5, um, which would be an octave lower than the note that I'm playing on my keyboard, or I can set it to 1, so I'll set the, these both to 1. Um, oops. And, um, and then I can play different notes on my keyboard and it tracks the pitch but it maintains these offsets from whatever fr uh, note that I'm playing and so it maintains that sort of telephone quality to it and so I can add a delay to it you know um, and use that for some kind of melodic sound or some background part. And that's typically what I do. It's not, you know, it's not typically going to be the main melody, um, but just as some background part to, to 
it, it's for me it's sort of a it, it gives a certain feeling creates a certain mood and that's what I'm trying to do so um, for the dial tone sound it's 350 Hertz against 440 um, then there's some other ones too uh, for the ring back sound so that's when you call someone and you hear it ringing through the phone on your end um, so what that is and if I double click on these I can disable their output um, is uh, it's 440 hertz against 480 hertz so I have those already laid out on operator C and D so I'm going to control click both of them to enable it give them some level um, I'll match it here so that's like the ring back sound I could do the same thing and set them to a ratio of one so that they will track the frequency of the note that I'm playing. So you can get some interesting sounds like that. And last but not least, we've got the um, busy signal sound, which I think is also another very evocative sound because it's so familiar. Um, so I'll give it some output. And that is 620 hertz against 480 hertz. So that's the uh, busy signal, and again, I could offset these, uh, set this ratio to one. You know, put the delay on there, give it some mood. And so a whole lot of sort of possibility of background sound parts with these telephone type sounds. If you go on the internet, you can find frequency charts for all the different phone sounds um, and they're all sine wave based and so it's definitely useful to uh, play around with.